If you haven't heard of labels in JavaScript, then this short video is for you. They may not look important and they probably are not, but still it doesn't hurt to know about them because you never know what an interviewer can ask you in those JS interviews. So watch this video till the end to understand them. Also if at any point of watching this video, you like the content, then don't be shy and please like and subscribe to this channel. JavaScript label is used to associate an expression with a label. We can then use the associated label to refer to the expression. When it comes to syntax of using labels in JavaScript, then first we will have to write the label name and then we have to write the expression, the JavaScript expression. Also, the JavaScript labels can only be used with break and continue statements within loops. JavaScript labels can also be used with functions in the non-strict mode, but I am yet to find any compelling use for using labels with functions. Also don't confuse labels with goto statement because first of all goto statements are not available in JavaScript so you cannot jump to labeled statements using goto if you are thinking you can do that. It was actually weird for me to try and find a real world example for this video to show you for using a label but I think it can be used in nested loops when filtering out a data collection so let's see how we can use it. So the first thing that we need to do is to have a collection of data on which we can apply loops and nested loops. Let's now add some values to this data collection. So this is the first one. Let's add two more. This is the second one and this is the third one. So we don't really need so many of them. So let's just work with only three items in this array. Now I will create two loops. One of them is going to iterate over this data collection and the second one, the nested one is going to iterate over this inventory collection. So let's just write the name of the first label which we are going to associate with the outer loop. So for where i equals to zero and then i is less than data dot length within this outer loop i'm going to create an inner loop so i'm just going to copy this one but first let's also write the name of the label which is going to associate with the inner loop so this is our inner loop and then instead of i we need to use a different variable so let's use j and then we are going to iterate over the inventory collection so data i dot inventory dot length so let's just break from the outer loop conditionally and if the condition is not met then we can just log to the console the value of the um, current inventory item. So let's just do that. So if data dot inventory the current inventory item if it is you know what let's check the value for this rugged jeans if the current inventory item is rugged jeans then we are going to break from the outer loop we need to write the name of the label to tell javascript from which loop we want to break you can also use the name inner loop if you want to break from this nested loop but then that would be counterintuitive because we don't really need to provide the name of the label for the current scope or for the current loop but if this condition is false then we are just going to log to the console the value of the current inventory item like this in the browser you can see that the inventory items of the first data collection item are all printed in the console but because the inventory item rugged jeans belongs to the first inventory item of the second data collection item when the logic detected that the first item is rugged jeans or when the item the currently iterated over inventory item is rugged jeans then it simply breaked from the outer loop and rest of the code didn't really execute it this is how we can use labels in javascript so my verdict about labels is this do not use them they may sound tempting to use when we want to break or continue inner loops but it's not really worth the effort you will just make it harder for yourself and your team to make sense of your code 
when it is revisited after some time or when there is a bug so that would be everything for this video i am nitej take care and have fun